everyone, welcome to my channel. It's the Bethy Blue Eyes here and I have done a little bit of a thrift haul, a little bit of new, a little bit of old, a little bit of everything. You know how I like my shopping. And I just thought I would do a video today. And hi subscribers, hello everyone. I have 301. I've just come back from visiting my family up north and I've got 301 subscribers. How exciting. Well, I'm excited anyway. And one of my subscribers, Kerry, hello, I've got my dress on that you thrift swapped with me. Ooh, do you like it? I thought it was really, really nice. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, my friend Kerry loves schools and me did a thrift swap. And if you go to her channel, you'll be able to watch it. Um, just go onto my subscribers and find Kerry, or I'll try and put a link in the down box below. But yeah, she bought me this lovely dress, and I've got one of my bracelets on as well. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Anyway, I'm going to get on with my haul. So, one of the first things I've got, I've been really asked recently, and so I bought myself a new sketch pad. Um, again, a good quality one for four ninety nine from the art supply shop, and that's going to help. I've just nearly filled up one of my sketchbooks, so to go with that, I also bought ooh, I also bought some felt tip pens uh, for colouring in some of the designs that I've been doing, and some of the other crafting that I've been doing. I've been painting dresses. If you watch some of my last videos, I do an anthem print Hanson dress where I've printed on like a lovely bold design. When I go to my concert, I've been buying the dye in small pots, which was about three, four pounds a pot. But I've managed to find the same dye on eBay in like bulk for twelve ninety nine. That seems quite a lot. You're probably thinking, oh my god, that's a lot of money. But actually, per mill, this is a hell of a lot cheaper than what I was buying before. So for twelve ninety nine, I've just got the black one because I'm going to be doing a design on another dress, which I'll, I'll do a video of next time, which is good. Girly things, I bought some little angel cotton wool buds for cleaning up my eyes, ears and nose and makeup mistakes and things. And also they were on three, no, I got four for three pounds. I got the cotton, large cotton wool pads from Asda. Um, so I got four big ones like this for three pounds, which was really, really good value. And while I was there, they had these lovely masks on offer. Um, I don't know if you've tried them before. Is it Monte Jeunesse, I think it is? Um, they're those mud masks and they've got those paper masks with like kind of moisture infused into them but yeah really really good um, I think I'm probably going to use just one of those and put them in some stockings for stocking fillers which I thought were really really nice and also girly things I got let me show you it's called BAM B-A-A-M I think it's called Lip Balm Cool Minty Taste made in the USA 99% natural emollients moisturize and protect your lips so it comes in a tiny little tin with a little, little tiny lip on it I thought it was really really cute I bought a couple of these to put in some stockings as well before kind of I start shopping for Christmas and stuff but I think I'm going to keep this one myself but I bought a few for everybody and a little pack of tissues with a lovely little floral design they were only 12 pence my lip balm was only 20 no 19p I think it was and I also got some of those oil absorbing tissues by Kleenex Basically they're a little tissue that you can put on your face if you're getting a bit shiny and it absorbs the oil or makeup off your face and kind of stops your makeup slipping off. They were only down to about 19p as well. It was in a shop called Home Bargains up north where my mum lives and it's always great value in there. They always have some super bargains. And in my local pound shop, which I thought was quite amazing, I found these Isla um, Super Lashes, which are, they're a really good brand Isla for um, fake eyelashes and I wear them occasionally for evenings and things, but these were only a pound, usually one pack of these, and this is a, got a lower and an upper pair of eyelashes. These, just one, even one pair is normally six pounds. So getting three for a pound, I was, well, sorry, they were a pound each, pound a pack, is amazing, and there's two sets in there. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of lashes for three pounds, which is crazy, and they're a good kind of, yeah, they're a good quality brand, I would say, and they've got a really fine band, so they don't look too kind of heavy when they're on the lashes. So I got those. I also got this lovely bunting from Marks and Spencers in their sale and it's like a heavy canvas print bunting but it was really really nice and I'm going to put this above my bed and when I do I will be showing you how I put it and styled it in my room um, but really really nice in this lovely kind of dark teal colour with a lovely flower print um, I couldn't find my toolbox this morning so I'm going to have to wait till my husband comes back and I'll find him to find it for me but he's not putting it up I'm going to do it myself sisters I'm doing it for themselves you know you know what I'm saying I'm not no one ain't gonna help me I don't need no man to put my bunting up but yeah I'm gonna do that when when he comes home when he can help me find the stupid toolbox 
And I bought another little present. Um, I bought a banana shaped sponge for one of my brother-in-laws. His um, other half calls him Monkey and I'm gonna buy him some shower gel. I need to find some banana shower gel to go with the banana. Um, actually, I've got banana shampoo. I'll get some banana shampoo. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was really, really funny. And it's like a banana shaped kind of sponge to wash yourself in the shower. That was a pound from the pound shop as well. When I was up north in the charity shops, I went thrifting with my dad and he's really good at finding bargains. That's where I get my bargain shopping from. He found me these amazing shoes. They're actually golfing shoes. And you're saying, Beth, do you go golfing? No, I don't go golfing, but I just love these. A pair of white leather brogues, which I just thought was absolutely gorgeous. They have these tongs on, which a lot of le leather kind of um, golf shoes have, but I know they can come off. And as you can see, they're really, really nice. They're little, just little leather little leather boots um but yeah really really nice these were 10 pounds my dad treated me to these and they actually had golf shoes have like studs on the bottom but he's taking them all off which you can do anyway and it doesn't affect the kind of quality of the shoes but i just thought they were really really nice but they are leather so they are going to be hard to break in i can really feel that they're quite stiff so they're gonna attack my feet slightly i bought a few pairs of lounging trousers i got these from primark they're just a pair of leggings with kind of like pearls and things on them. I don't think I'm going to wear them out, but they're just for kind of lounging around in the house. They were down from £6 to £3. And being a true tomboy, I bought myself some new jam jams. I got some Batman, Batman, Batman. And because I've been drawing the Batman theme thing recently, I saw these and was like, oh yeah, I like those. So I got these. These were £6.99. And they're men's ones. Um, I tend to find that they're nicer sizing these were a small in the men's size and i just thought they were fun they don't look very small to me um, but i guess they're small for a guy and they're just kind of cotton trousers because uh, i like to wear those in a white vest for lounging around in my bedroom when i'm chilling out and also i got a lovely to juxtapose juxtapose i can't think what the word is oh i'm such an idiot juxtapose is it the kind of tomboyishness I also bought a little purse and I got this off the market and this was two pounds and again it's just a little clutch purse um, which I thought was really nannery shabby chicish and I like the tapestry detail and again it was a nice size I thought that would fit my phone and everything in there so I'm going to an event soon so I'll take that with me and I also got two lovely lovely towels from Marks and Spencers these were down from 12 pounds to five pounds but can someone please message me down below what's the difference between a beach towel and a regular towel to me a, be a towel is a towel you take you can take any towel to the beach but it says they're beach towels but i don't know if that makes them bigger or or what but yeah look they're really really nice they're quite patriotic and um, they've got stamps on them union jacks and crowns and corgis and these were yeah down from 12 to five pounds so i got me and my husband one each for five pounds and it was my mama's birthday and she said she wanted some new towels so i bought her two as well which i thought they were super 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 value and last but not least in my knickknacks i bought this amazing um throw this lovely crochet throw and this was 2.99 from a local charity shop um it needs washing because it feels like it's been folded up and put somewhere dusty and it already oh, make my nose itch even touching it but it's beautiful but it just needs kind of a quick wash which I'm going to put in my next wash and then on to clothes I bought my husband two pairs of socks for his Christmas stocking one with Mr Greedy on with stripes because he likes stripy socks and a Superman pair these were two pairs for £2.50 which I thought were really really good value because they're normally quite expensive and clothes wise I got this wonderful cardigan, big huge nana cardigan and it's got vine leaves and it's navy blue with green. I like this style cardigan, I quite often go for these. This was 4 99 from a local charity shop and it's by Demart which seems to be a brand that I buy quite regularly. I don't know if it's like a special nana brand, I'm not really sure. And my mum actually gave me these lovely little palazzo pants. Um, I don't normally wear trousers but I like these and they just come short on the ankle and they've got little gold zip detail and they're elasticated and really really comfortable um, and again they've got like a paisley kind of psychedelic print on them which I thought were really nice but very very comfortable but she gave me those she got them in the charity shop for me and last but not least I've left this till last because this is my favourite item of the week um, I don't normally wear very body of hugging dresses i like these nana dresses but i don't really wear anything very form-fitting but i saw this on ebay and was like i have to get it and this dress is amazing smiley face dress 
It's a bodycon dress with long arms and it's about three quarter length, but it is so much. Yeah, I just thought this dress was absolutely amazing. You can see it's just got the smiley faces all over it. I've already worn it once at the local pub when I went to visit my family. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was really, really fun. And um, I've been trying to look after myself a little bit more recently and eat healthier. So I'm not necessarily got any skinny if I lost any weight, but I've just got a bit more toned. So I felt a bit more comfortable to wear something like that. But yeah, that is everything I bought at the moment. And I hope you like everything. What did everybody like? Is there anything in there that you want or you found similar? Um, again, but yeah, that's the joy of shopping in charity shops. You can find all kinds of things and there's always a surprise around the corner. Hope you like it all. I will see you in my next video. And I will say goodbye. Bye. 301 subscribers. <laughs>